Hey guys, welcome to another Unreal Engine tutorial. In this video, we'll be making an animated uh, pause menu. So, we've already created our pause menu in the last video. If you haven't checked it out yet, go check it out. But in this video, we'll be animating it, so making the all the widgets come in. So, like for example, when you open the, the pause menu, this will come sliding in, and it'll look way more professional. Okay, now start off we're going to go in our widgets folder and we're going to open our menu okay double click that and now in here we have all our things so we have the title we have the background the button on top and the play button that's underneath and now what we're going to do we're going to select the play button and click on the animation bar here plus animation and if you do not have this animation uh, bar here you can go in windows and click on animation just check that off and now we can click add animation and this one's just going to be called play because that's the, that's our play button now what we're going to do we're going to select it in our timeline which you can also if you don't have it you can add it from the windows and select timeline okay from timeline we're going to add a track oops i added this by accident and add track we are going to add the text so since we already have that the text selected, we can add the track and the first thing is going to be text. Now for the text, we're going to add another track here and it's going to be the transform. All right. So now that we put in the transform, we're going to open translation. And then here, let's just open this up more. We'll have it in a good 0.5 seconds so it'll take 0.5 seconds when we open it and go boom and just come into the scene and then for our original point we're going to move this off to the side so it's going to create a keyframe okay and now we're going to scroll to 0.5 and we're going to move it back and you can just click on this and select and click zero now if you look at here when you open it, it'll slide in like that. And now that seems a bit too slow for us. We don't want it to be an obvious thing. It's just something that comes in naturally. So let's move it up. What we'll do actually, we'll select our point and drag that in. We'll go to point 25. That seems more reasonable. Now here we go. Boom. And now it just comes in. And now we'll do the same thing for our extreme racing right here, our title. So in the play animation here, that's still selected. We're going to do add track. It's going to be the text. Now this text right here, we're going to add a track, and it's going to be the transform. Now just to make things more clear, we're going to select the first text block 0. I'm going to select F2 on my keyboard, and change this to play, so that I know that that's my play button. And this one, I'm just going to go F2 again and call this one title. And then from the transform track that we just added, let's extend this out. Actually, what we're going to do before adding the transform, let's delete this transform and let's make sure that the, the cursor is all the way at the beginning at the zero zero line. And then we can add our transform. Now let's extend this out. And now let's open the transform by clicking this and let's add and open the transformation translation. Sorry. And then let's move this up this time. So this one will come down. And now at the 0.25 here, we'll bring this back down. So make sure to select this here, because this adds a new keyframe. So what we're going to do, we're going to click on 0. And there you go. So now if we play the animation, it all comes down like this. And what we're also going to do, one last thing, is select our background now, add another track, and it's going to say image because that's the name of this image 171. And then for the image 171, which is here, let's call F2 and call this one background. What we're going to do is add a render opacity, render opacity right here. And then at the beginning, it's going to be zero. And then at 0.25, it's going to be 1. Okay, so now when you open the menu, these everything slides in like this. 
All right, so we created a nice little animation. Now, one last thing to do is go in the event graph. And now on event pre-construct, we're going to slide in our play, our animations play, get play, and we're going to do play animation. All right, and let's add this like this. And there you go. Now, once we've done that, let's go back to our widget folder. And in our pause menu, we'll bring this down. So let's select this and this. Oops, this and this. And let's just bring it down. And what we'll do, we'll also duplicate it by doing control copy, control paste. Oops, let's do that again. So right now, we have our quit button. Let's do copy paste and bring that down. Now let's name this one menu so that we can access our menu from our pause menu. Let's do copy paste. Okay, now compile and save from the event graph. Actually, let's go back. Let's do an event. So on event click and let's do create widget. Oops. And now we're going to create our menu widget. And then from there, let's do on a return value, let's do add to viewport. Compile and save. And now just making sure here. Okay. Let's just anchor this to the left. There you go. Now, let's play this. So now it's a bit off. Let's go to our forest map. Let's do escape for our menu, for our pause menu. Click menu, and now you see this little animation that just happened. They both slid in. If you missed that, let's try it again. So let's go back to our our race map. Let's do play. I'll click escape and menu and then pay attention to the sides. So it adds a real professionalism to your game. It makes it look more more uh, professional. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.